Well, I guess we were not expecting to do this game after the Lies of P, Lies of Pinocchio. So here we are. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you're in. Welcome back to No Street Road. Let's rock and talk. Okay, so pretty much today is going to be devoted to No Street Roads because I enjoy the crap out of this game. And clearly because I get a lot of likes and views for the last few videos. Oddly. I appreciate it. I highly appreciate it. So, let's rock and talk by firing a boy band that is old as Kim Sick and Best Street Boys if you grew up in that time and pretty much Aaron Carter. I think it was Aaron Carter. It wasn't Justin Bieber. Play well, anyway, like. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Let's rock and talk.
even I was being as quiet as possible. Please, take your leave! Okay, see ya. Hopefully not, hopefully never. Hello, Mia. You not one step closer. What about half a... Not even that. Whatever is this for? Maybe you should have gotten a guide? Oh, look! It's 1010! The most popular boy group in Vinyl City right now. Boy group? <laughs> they look kinda shiny. Sleek and in perfect synchronization, too. Hits? <laughs> more like a bunch of misguided tunes. Back in my days, tunes were more refined, meaningful. Musicians nowadays can't even rise to challenge themselves. Huh? Think you can? Why don't you try this thing? Take from home. Indeed, indeed.
Leave this to me. It's my turn, Python. going to the beach and catch seahorses. Don't take Mayday too seriously. I doubt she could even catch slow-moving turtles. Preposterous! Why, my ancestors, all fishermen before me, were just like you. Oblivious that their actions were destroying the sea's ecosystem. And to think that I, Captain Torpedo, was the same until I discovered my savior. Sayu. Oh, how melodious her voice is, stirring the depths of my soul to wake me from the error of my ways. Don't stick up! You know, I've been thinking about how to thank you properly. Thank us? There's no need to do that. Oh, but I must. It's the Seafarer's Code. Ah, here's a nifty compass. Just carry it with you. It'll reveal many interesting elements of the world. Yes, sir!
As they were, pure, not the mangled tunes so-called artists put out nowadays. Where are the good renditions? You think you can put out good ones? Let's see you try. Just precious. Uh, the unicorn, but they don't exist. They do now. Mr. Unicorn, looking as brilliant as ever. You know, May, I really think there's something amiss with this unicorn. You just still don't believe they're real. Hello, Mr. Unicorn, looking as brilliant. You know, May, I really think there's something. You just still don't believe they're real.
Leave this to me. Yeah! Of limits. Whoa, take it easy there, kiddo. What's with the cape? It's a parachute, la, Missy. One day, I'll join the Air Force and become a man of the sky. Air Force? Sorry to burst your bubble, but Final City only has a navy. <laughs> what a joke. There's a flying airship that goes around the city. If you look closely, it's actually a battleship. No way. You guys again. Uh, go away. Come on, kid. Why so hostile? Bunch of old geezers shattering the dreams of us little guys. Who are you calling old? I'm only 21. People voted for rock not because they liked the music, but because they wanted to be controversial. When MSR brought EDM into the scene, we created a landscape where everyone loved our music. Everyone. Not based on some forgettable trend, but of actual interest. I'm ashamed to say that these people who voted for Bankabit Junction reminds me of the past. They're only voting for the alternative because they feel too fashionable to go against the norm. Do not be influenced by these troublemakers. If you follow their road, expect delays in advance because they are all flash and no substance. For a governance that works, you must choose the part of Interesting that they use music in this way. Order. Order leads to progress in Bible City. That is all. Have a pleasant evening. People of Bible City. This is Tatiana. Today, we woke up to more upsetting news. News of Bumpit Junction claiming yet another district. I feel that it is my duty to remind everyone about the history of rock in this city. Back then, we found that rock only attracted a niche selection of elites. People voted for rock not because they liked the music, but because they Okay, so guys, you might want to turn your brains off for this one because this is literally dealing with the boy band parody, so if you grow up in the time of boy bands like, you know, Backstreet Boys, uh, NSYNC, or Britney Spears, uh, Aaron Carter when he was a thing, I don't know if he's he's alive, but he's not really a thing. Um, who else was relevant back then? I think Christy Aguilera? Christy Aguilera was back then in the early 2000-ish. No one remembers Lib um, Flitzkin, if anyone remembers that from the... Okay, well, I got those two names right, but you get the freaking point. If you grew up in early 2000 or, well, I guess, really early 90s, then you know what I'm talking about. So, turn your brains off and enjoy this pretty much boy fan parody. Let's get started. When 
Yeah, I knew this was going to be Techno. I mean, come on, boy band. Techno and boy band goes together like peanut butter and jelly.
Leave this to me.
Okay, so this boy band is called 1010. You think they would have came up with a better number than 1010? It just sounds like a mathematical, a mathematical equation, mathematical equation, instead of like your usual. I, I don't know. It's just a very lame name for a boy band. Well, let's get dancing through dance choreography. Oh crap, we're actually doing this Start dance. Hot and ready. Okay, so what pretty much NSYNC boy band parody we're gonna do now? Your flying circus ends now, 1010! Oi! We're crashing your party! Hello! No, ten they're just good. Ah, oh, here we go. Look boys, our one true love is finally here. Let's be the ideal boyfriends and give her our utmost attention. What? Attention! Wait, why are we saluting again? We salute you for gracing us with your exotic beauty, your lustrous hair, your beautiful gaze, even your lips, which form that radiant smile. Our breaths are stifled. Stifled, 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 stifled. <laughs> You think you can sway her heart that easily? She's not going to fall for those cheap compliments. You tell him, eh? Hey? Wow. You're just jelly that all these pretty boys are fawning over me. May. Did you hear what they said about my lips, though? <laughs> what have you done to our 10 10? <laughs> Haters gonna hate. When we show up, we get the sexy mission done. You better put on your tactical thermal I can't believe those cheap compliments work. I can't believe this freaking work. Anyway. Awesome. And also, so they're basically boy band Power Rangers. Oh, too easy on that joke. There's no use. They keep coming. Look at our chilling with these handsome robots. They're taking out their crib, and after that, we can have a jacuzzi party with them. And okay, that flying factory has got to go. Troops, 
this to me! This to me. No way! One, two, three, four, and jam! Mark target! Electrifying. Oh no! He's no longer handsome and sexy and gentlemanly and good. My gun, my gun. Fire! One, two, three, four, and jam! Load and shoot! Fire! One, two, three, four, and jam! Mark target! Load and shoot! Fire! One, two, three, four, and jam! Mark target! Good work. I think we're done here. Or not! As long as the flag of freedom stands, I will keep on fighting, commencing all kill protocol for Anastar! Huh, a killer robot with game skills.
There's only one way to end this. I don't know if I can do this, but okay! Good night! Ring light! Is she really a fangirl of these guys? They're robots! Ah! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! <coughs> you got me, soldier. <laughs> you got me good. Go ahead. Finish the job. We're not here to finish you. I know you broke Inu's piano. <laughs> You're here for my factory, aren't you? Just do it then. Do it! What are you talking about? We just want to... Fine! Go ahead and break my troops. But know that you'll never break my spirit! <laughs> do robots get injured? How is he even coughing? I'm a Cyborg. I mean, good question. And the coughs? The blood that I spilled through my mouth? Mouth? I do it for what? NSR! What is wrong with this guy? Okay, we're just gonna head home now. Yeah, I agree with Mayday. Home? I remember what home was like. I dream of a day where the children can run innocently on the streets again. Their eyes glittering with jubilation. So I made a promise to myself. A promise to bring peace back to my people. And until that day comes, I vow to serve this city with my utmost dedication. Because that is who I am. I got soul! I uh, am a soldier! Oh, you what have I become? I have changed so much the things that i've done in the name of nsr i would not wish it to my worst enemy when i hey i'm talking to you two where are you going there. do you think what you're doing is right what is it that you guys fight for what is it that you guys want well i don't right. mind a signed poster of 1010 may okay 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 Hold on! I have not reached the point about my deployment to the Asgard faction in 68! It was an unforgiving journey <laughs> to the ridges of Kuan. The chill was enough to brittle the spirit of any battle-hardened warrior. Oh my gosh. As I trudged through the mountains with only my compass and the parachute on my back. Is he still talking? Start with one quarter cup of water. Bring that to a boil and add your aromatics, which consists of two cloves of garlic and two shallots peeled and cut into quarters. Some red pepper flakes, very essential by the way, and six... Can you please stop punching my TV? Why did you even punch it this time? Hey, look. I've already scrolled through all the channels and I couldn't find a single news about NSR. That chef had it coming. Is that really the excuse you're going with? Yeah. I mean, what's up with her hair, man? Ugh. 
And she kind of looks like Tatiana's sister. Ugh, forget it. 